Well, at least 11-year-old me would have loved this movie. Jack the Giant Slayer is the name of the movie. Brian Singer directing it, uh, bringing it to us. Story of Jack and the Beanstalk and kind of delving a little more into the mythos of who the giants are and what their land is like and who Jack is and what his past is like and the princess and what happens when they plant a magic bean and the beanstalk grows and they find themselves in the world of giants. We know the story, right? Well, you think you might. This is a little expansion of it. Also stars um, Ewan McGregor, who is in this as well as Stanley Tucci. Both of them give great performances. The lead actor is Nicholas Holt, I think, who was just recently in Warm Bodies, and I kind of enjoyed him in that, unfortunately. And let's start to get to the stuff in this movie. I didn't really enjoy him in this. This is where the movie falls apart for me, mainly. Our leads, both the princess and Jack, are so vanilla and normal and there's nothing interesting about them i don't i don't really care about their relationship or what happens to them just because i'm not interested in them i don't find them interesting at all everybody around them seems to be a little bit interesting but i'm just not all that interested in them uh, i will also say that there are many deaths in this movie some of them brutally violent and when i say many i mean throughout the movie both good guys and bad guys the problem with this is is not that people are dying it's that they don't serve much of a purpose there's not much emotional resonance in the deaths that happen in this movie because many of them happen before you really get to know the characters that are dying, both the good guys and the bad guys. So it's almost, you know, just death for death's sake, which is interesting in a movie like this because that's not what it's necessarily supposed to be about. There are some good things to say about this movie, though. Uh, the visuals are pretty incredible. Some of the effects, especially the beanstalk effects, are really, really cool. This beanstalk feels like it's both a living sentient being like it's doing stuff on purpose but it also feels very natural like it's just growing they strike a really good balance between natural and purposeful that i found really interesting with the beanstalk effects i think they deserve props on that uh i also think there is some some really great acting on the peripheries here um both stanley tucci and ewan mcgregor to be specific, do a really, really wonderful job, and that is something worth watching in this. Plus, you know, it's a story maybe you want to see a little bit more about. And the truth be told, if I were my 11-year-old self, I would have loved this movie. The action, the adventure, the sword play, and just the fun of it, the, the beings and the monsters and the escapes, and it just feels very almost... Indiana Jones in some ways like that's kind of the feeling I feel like I would get if I were a kid watching this again is the feeling I got watching Indiana Jones just lots of adventure and and how are they going to get out of this kind of stuff but as you know this age me uh, that stuff isn't quite as dominating in my brain and I see a lot of the flaws that are involved in a movie like this this is a flawed movie for sure but one if you can kind of get past that stuff maybe there's a little bit here to enjoy